welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger. The other night, my wife and I had the honor and the privilege of going over to Squamish to the uh, tribal center there and to the Long House and the House of Awakened Culture. It's a beautiful new facility that they have, and, and it was for, I think it was their fourth annual event called The Time to Gather. And, and it was partially a celebration of the house and as well as a fundraiser for the new museum that they're going to build there. It sounds like it's going to be just a wonderful museum. And uh, one of the exciting things about this event was two of my favorite performers were there. There was R. Carlos Nakai, who is a Navajo uh, flute player. And if you've ever been in my office, you've heard R. Carlos Nakai. I always have his flute music playing in the background uh, in my offices. And often out in the reception area, the other performer is playing. Uh, that was Kay Ola Beamer from Hawaii. And, and it was fascinating. Uh, here are my, two of my favorite performers coming together. And to have, they each played individually, and then they played together. And to have Navajo chanting and flute music mixed in with Hawaiian dance, with Hawaiian songs, and Hawaiian chanting, and have them blended together was, was absolutely beautiful. And, and it got me thinking and reminded me of how much I love stories. And I, and I think that was one of the things that I so much appreciated about Hawaii when I, when I lived in Maui, was all the stories that uh, in the Hawaiian chants and the Hawaiian music about the gods and the warriors and about life and, and how tradition is passed down uh, from generation to generation through story. And, and you know, and, and I love hearing oral stories. I, I'd rather hear an oral story than, than I would uh, have read a book. And as much as I love reading books, but uh, you know, I, I look forward to Friday mornings on NPR to listen to StoryCorps, and and I love Garrison Keillor and, and the Prairie Home Companion show. I've been listening to that, I think, since pretty much the beginning and uh, years ago. And when I lived back in, in Minnesota, I used to go over to St. Paul to the theater and and uh, catch Garrison live and any opportunity I have here uh, and when he comes to Seattle I, I go over there and and uh, watch him and or listen to him and I just love stories and, and and that's one of the great things about the work that I do. In my job I get to listen to people's stories and I hear stories of triumph and stories of great success and stories of overcoming chocolate and, and the battle of letting go of two pounds this week and, and the ease of letting go of two pounds this week and and I hear about other successes of overcoming fears that held people back in relationships and, and from moving forward in, in other areas of their life and and I also hear uh, you know sad stories and I hear stories of terror and trauma and I also hear stories of where people get stuck in their story and are continuing to live out events that happened 30 years ago and can't get moved beyond it. And that's one of the great things about hypnosis, is that you can put hypnosis to work for you and step out of those old stories, the ones that are the limiting beliefs, the things of I can't, or poor me, or oh this happened, or I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, whatever the, the limiting story is, and step out of that story and no longer have to continue telling yourself that same old story. That you can write a new story, one of, one of empowerment, one of I can do this, I'm successful, I'm enough. And to be able to step out of that story and start writing a new story about a great wonderful life instead of one of, of limitation and, and one of, of poverty. But step into the, the fact that life is abundant and life is filled with joy, life is filled with options. So if you're ready to step out of any old stories that you have that are holding you back and want to write a new story, one, one of empowerment, look around here at Hypnosis Health Info at all the tools and all the resources that can help you do that. And also feel free to give me a call at 206-903-1232 or send me an email, Roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com and I'll be happy to work with you at helping you step out of the old story and, and write that new story. And if you live here in the Puget Sound area, I'd be happy to meet with you here in this office on Bainbridge Island or once a month I'm over in Forks or downtown in the Medical Dental Building in my Seattle office. And if you live too far away, 
then we can set up a telephone and internet program, you and I together, we can create that phone and, and internet program to support you in empowerment, supporting you in creating that new story. So if you're ready to let go of the old stories that are holding you back, let go of them. Use hypnosis, put it to work. Use those old stories as, as history, as a place of where you came from, use them as a place of wisdom, but understand that this moment and this moment forward, life can be different. Life can be abundant. Life can be filled with joy. Life has lots of options. So stop limiting yourself with the old story. I'm Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info.